is this is Jeff Lemons and he came down from Canada and if you saw the previous videos you saw that this hole has been uh, enlarged and he's been uh, roughing up the bottom the base plate uh, that is the uh, that is the hull of the boat down there and he's cleaned an area where his uh, DC 144 volt DC air conditioner will be and then Jeff what you what you done is created another plate for strength yeah uh, against the hull yeah so this is going to get uh, epoxy to the hull and then uh, and then I've already uh, put some bolts in this from the bottom up uh, forming studs that we can just drop our uh, 144 volt unit box right on and bolt it down with some nylocks and uh, away we go. All right. So uh, now we got to find Mike and get him to epoxy this in place. Okay. Let me go see if I can't find the epoxy king. And just to do you another favor, before we do that, we're going to put some bolts through here and bolt this thing on tight so that your boat looks good when we're done. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for the details. Okay, this is his uh, 12 volt, the 144 volt DC air conditioner with the casing off, and you'll see that it's going to have and be set up for the air handler units. Okay, how do you like that? 144 volt DC, nice breaker. We're uh, upholstering the uh, visible faces of the air conditioning units so that uh, they look as pretty as possible. And for this particular one, we found some vinyl off of some old seat cushions we're no longer using and we're setting them up and upholstering the uh, the uh, as I say visible faces of the air conditioning units so they'll blend in really nice they're gonna look great inside the uh, cabin that's way cool Jeff and so that so now that once that dries and you put just some spray adhesive on that, yeah, you cut out the vinyl out of the stuff and then just put some 3M high tech, high tech yeah. uh, uh, glue on there and uh, let it let it get tacky for a little while and uh, on it goes. And if I can do it, because I've really never done it before, it's not that difficult. And, and 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 I just want you to know that this this won't happen with everybody's installation, but we have been uh, very very blessed with the presence of Jeff from Canada, who uh, who is the owner of Hammond Air, and he has liked the beautiful weather until today. <laughs> it's raining, almost makes you feel like you're in England, huh? Yeah. So I'm yeah I'm just gonna go home now and go skiing instead. If it's gonna rain, it's it might as well be in snow. It's Whistler, here we come, right? You got it. The trick on these is there's nice rounded corners on these units, so it's not difficult to wrap the vinyl really neat and tidy around the corners so that it gives you a really nice look on the on the finish. I learned all this from watching Trick My Ride. <laughs> so where, where do you install these air conditioners? You install them in now boats. You also install them in uh, military yeah, uh, boats uh, and in trucks. And in trucks and now we're doing also, uh, <clears throat> we just started doing uh, transit buses or, or tour buses like basically. big provost or big yeah. route buses so when the when the people are in playing bingo or losing their money gambling or whatever for eight hours the bus driver can keep cool without having to run the main engine thereby saving America's depleting supply of uh, oil and uh, reducing our need or our, our foreign oil needs <clears throat> and helping them keep the environment clean Nothing like good solid green technologies, huh? You got it. And that's it. So the most amazing thing is on this electric propulsion boat, it's 144 volt DC, you'll be in a position where, I don't know if the rain's going to overdo the audio on this, but you'll be in a position where the DC, uh, that we won't be running an AC air AC generator at all. Yeah. It will not be an AC generator to run this system. It'll run off of the batteries that are regenerated by solar, wind, and uh, sailing. 
and if you're under sail, you'll be generating a whole lot more power than what the air conditioner uses, and there's no reason why at that point you couldn't have the air conditioner on all the time you're under sail and have a cool, comfortable cabin in, at any time. Especially the nice August here in the States, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, we do get hot up there in the Great Lakes, too. Do you? Yeah. 100% humidity, too. It's all those, surrounded by all those great lakes gives us uh, heat and humidity for the summertime up there. Of course, the nights are more comfortable than down here. That's the main thing. So there's, you get a nice, <clears throat> nice clean face. We're going to cut out our louver hole and our switch holes. And if you want to take a picture of those ones done inside, that would give you an idea of what the finished product looks like ready to mount to a bulkhead of the boat. Hi, Mr. Lemons. Hi, Jeff. How you doing, man? Good, good. Well, last time we were here, we were talking about taking out the AC system that we had that was a blower type, and it was 110. You had to be at the dock or run a gen set all the time, and you were talking about putting in a DC gen set, and you were going to go back to Canada and build one. Tell yeah. us what's happened. Well, what, what we've done is uh, you removed the, uh, the 110 volt AC current air conditioning system with its uh, blower and uh, duct system, and we've replaced it now with a uh, 144 volt DC current air conditioning system that has uh, the potential to carry five different air handlers. Um, and it's scattered around this 38 foot catamaran. So what we've done first is uh, stuff our air conditioning condenser and motor box. Now you took it out, you took the old one out and yeah. we put a sheet piece of fiberglass down and... Yeah, and I wanted to reinforce because we're sitting right on top of the uh, <coughs> right on top of the, the hull that's crossing between the two pontoons. So I wanted to reinforce that a bit and put some screws up through it to uh, bolt our box down. So we did that sort of made a new bed for it, uh, mounted our box, it was a tight squeeze to get it in through the fridge hole here, uh, but it went in nicely, uh, just had to beat on it a bit, got it in <laughs> place, and then we started running lines to various locations we wanted to have evaporator boxes or air handling boxes, whatever you'd like to call them. So in other words, what do you have back here? You have a... Um have uh, a, you a, have what? You have an electric motor in there that, that a, runs off of. We have a, a, a 144 volt DC current electric motor that's running a standard size automotive cell compressor, which is a, a piston type compressor. Uh, this one has 10 cylinders in it, so it, it's very efficient, and we run it at a speed that we get the most cooling capacity out of it with the least amount of power draw, which is about 700 RPM on this compressor. So this system will put out 20,000 BTUs of cooling and you've elected to have five evaporators or five cooling coils in various locations in the boat. Now here you can see we were able to bring all our connections from the wire harness from, from the five different evaporators right back to this terminal strip where we had uh, inline ATO fuse holders and ground uh, control and power all hooked up ready to plug in. We also have a relay here for the water pump which uh, that you supplied and it's down somewhere in the hold and, and it's a raw water pump for raw cooling. water pump. Our 144 volt DC on off switch so if you have to service this unit you want to be able to turn it off at the location so that there's no mistake about whether it's got power on it or not you can shut it off right here and you this know? is this is a 144 volt DC air conditioner yep. but a 12 volt control circuit yeah so the motor that powers the pump which is what takes the bulk of the power is uh, is run on 144 volt DC let's get that around a little more you see over here with all the fittings for three different uh, sets of lines going one to each hull and one to the main salon and they're all hooked up and plumbed in plus our water in and out and our power that's basically everything's hooked up with this box already Mm, um, looks nice. Nice and professional fittings. Yeah, it needs a little bit of neatening and tying up here, but that's not going to get done until uh, until a, a little bit later date. Right before the boat show. Yeah, yeah. until everything else is done. Otherwise, so this will be a live this will be a live air conditioner at the Miami boat show. Yes. So what 
the 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 key that we're doing the thing we're doing here is running two different voltages to power the system. The 144 volt DC power does the bulk of the work by running the air conditioning compressor. All the air handlers are run off of 12 volt DC current. All the relays and control uh, mechanisms are off of 12 volt DC current. So it's very easy, very safe, very efficient. With this system in our testing, we looked at uh, we were drawing about four and a half amps at 144 volts DC, and about uh, with the five evaporators, we could draw up to about 25 amps at the 12 volt DC. So our total wattage use is well under a thousand watts to produce 20,000 BTUs of cooling. That's amazing. So it it is very efficient, uh, and 20,000 BTUs of Cooling should do a, a wonderful job on this boat, especially with the air handles, handlers scattered all over. Two in each hull and one extra large one here in the salon. So the one we'll see in the salon, we'll see that on a later tape. But show, let's go down here and look at these other air handlers yeah. you put down here. This no. is in the uh, starboard. What we've done here in this compartment, uh, this is on the starboard, in the starboard hull. Uh, right against the exterior uh, of the starboard hull, right about amidships. So we have a bedroom in front of us and we have one behind us. So we've mounted two different evaporators, one pointing forward, one pointing rear, in this compartment. Uh, they're plumbed in, the, the lines are teed together, and one set of lines is run back to the evaporator. There's individual wire harnesses that you see here plugged in for each uh, evaporator as well. They go back to the <clears throat> get back to the evaporator. Each one of these evaporators can independently control the compressor system. So if they call, if they decide they, they are cold enough, they will tell the compressor to shut off. So if one evaporator wants refrigerant and one doesn't, the compressor will still run, but a solenoid on the, on the uh, evaporators will control whether they get refrigerant or not. Mm -hmm. So again, if this one is calling saying I'm cold enough, this one's going to get more refrigerant and get colder quicker. Okay. So again, we can be very efficient and very good at creating the temperatures we're looking for in different zones. Excellent. Okay. Now, if we come around to the, the interior side, you might say, of uh, that's uh, on a built-in evaporator like that that's built into that closet, that's kind of the finished look. Now, I, I messed around and found some old upholstery and uh, upholstered this, it could be painted, it could be whatever cloth, material, paint, veneer you might want to put on this, you can put on to customize it to your specific boat. It comes as just bare um, eighth inch thick aluminum. So and that's you definitely do, a DIY thing. They can do yeah, anything you, you they want. Yeah, you've got to do what you want there and it, it's flexible. If you just want the aluminum to show, that's fine. If you want it to be customized to, uh, to your specific boat, uh, away you go. Now if you look up top here, you'll see the, the AC lines and wiring harnesses running through and then winding their way back around and down and across yeah. to uh, yeah. to the uh, the compressor box. You've done a good job hiding them. <laughs> and that's that's the key, is, is uh, you can get a very neat, tidy installation and you're, you, you, if you're in this cabin and there's no one in the other one, you can have this AC on and the other one off and you're being as efficient as you can. You cool what you need and don't cool what you don't need. You're going to have your least amount of power draw at that point and you can uh, uh, have AC 24-7. Especially if you're under sail and you're regenerating with these electric motors, 